Hey, you guys see TJ Watt punch the fuck out of Zay Flowers? Y'all hey, are fucking right hook. dirty, bro. Yeah, so bro. dirty, dude. Hey, oh, are yeah. dirty. Let me, I forgot. Uh, I'm going to throw a quick shout out to the um, Ravens receiving court. Oh, sure, bro. Bro. bro, that was one of the worst games I've seen by wide receivers in general. Three touchdowns that were dropped. Mark oh, Andrews, Zay Flowers, and... um. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room, episode 53. 50 some. Two? 52? No, we posted 52, right? I don't know. Sure. I don't Damn, think I'm, dude. I think I've gotten the intro right four times. All right, let's come in hot with a nice question. You guys have to start a franchise today. You don't know what the rest of your team is, and you have to pick a quarterback first. 53. Matt, I was right? 53. Nice. Matt, are you starting your team with Daniel Jones, Mac Jones, Desmond Ritter, or Zach Wilson? Daniel Jones. <laughs> easy money. That's easy. Yeah, I think you have to go Mac Jones. Mac? Oh, my God. Or Mac no. Is, I was about to say, Mac Jones is so Mac bad. Mac Jones is trash. I don't know how he made a Pro Bowl. Daniel Jones. Well, he was is vanilla. Vic. He was one of those. He was, a, he was a like a substitute. Yeah, substitute. It's not well, called a yeah, substitute. I don't know. I can't remember what it's right considered. now. He was a replacement. You know when I, I got hurt? I, yeah. When I was, I woke up this morning. I, <clears throat> I was gonna come in here. I have a new thirty second quarterback in the NFL. A new thirty second quarterback. The the worst. Who's that? They're Mac Jones. <laughs> he is so bad. Well, is this a bad time to tell you that? I was taking Mac Jones as my franchise yeah, quarterback. Out of he's all this. fucking terrible. Dude, so is Daniel Jones, though. Dan- no, Daniel Jones is different. If you watch the game, dude, he catches the snap and there's three people in his face. Listen, I agree with you, but my dude also fumbles the ball like no other. He can't stay upright even when my dude's running downfield open by himself and he falls face first. Like he, that, was dude, a, that was a 90-yard <laughs> run. Dude is Bambi, bro. <laughs> That's farther got, than any, other, any of those other dudes have ran. Listen, bro. I'm taking Mac. Derek, who are you taking? Who were the who were the three again? Or who were the Jones, four? Daniel Jones, Desmond Ritter, or Zach Wilson. Shit. <laughs> I kind of like Zach Wilson. Um, Nilf Hunter. Too. Yeah. Uh, he actually you could tell like he grew up a lot. Zach. Did you see the two interviews? Yeah. Back to back, like mm-hmm. when he like basically blamed the defense and then yep. and then basically held himself Took accountable. The blame. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to realize that shit ain't working. Who are you taking? He said Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. I'm going to go Daniel Jones, too. So three Daniel Jones and one Mac Jones. Yep. Your team's about to be trash. <laughs> Yours, too, motherfucker. <laughs> nah, because I'm getting the line. <laughs> what they got? One, what they all got one win right now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know, to be honest. I don't know. No clue. All right, boys. <clears throat> that line is atrocious. Quick gamble talk. Who won us some money this week? And Fuck the game we'll talk, bro. It's 10.06 on Tuesday, and Matt Canada still has a job. Bro, y'all want a game? This is episode 53. 53 of me complaining about Matt Canada. Matt Canada drew up a great no, play the for fuck y'all to he win didn't. the game. He, Kenny audibled. Mm, I don't believe it. What, what the fuck do you mean? Y'all don't want to get Matt Canada. No he, checked the, he checked at the line. I said Randy, Randy. He checked at the line. Got Randy Moss audible. Yeah, he checked at the line, and then they scored a touchdown, and Matt Canada did this. Listen, he wasn't even hype. Everybody in the box was hype. Man, Matt, Matt Ken was, was like, making sure there was no flags or nothing. Because sometimes when the way y'all see them been going, it no, was too good to no, be true. He said, was he said oh, Kenny you don't want to use my fucking play, play, bitch. Yeah. When y'all learn how to read minds. <laughs> 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 I just don't. Everybody in the booth was like, yeah, he, was like he was double checking, making sure he said, make sure ain't no laundry on the field. You know, George Pickens be pushing people on the ground at the line. He didn't know if it was going to be yeah. an offensive PI or not. He was just making sure. I'm just trying to play white devil's advocate for him. I know what you're doing. He I was. He was going. just sitting there calm. Yeah. He's stoic. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Fuck him. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Y'all acting this ugly. Y'all going to be stuck with him next season, too, just because y'all got ugly attitudes. He ain't getting the contract. He ain't getting off. fired in the bye week now that we're fucking, we I'm won and tweet. we're first in the AFC North. Keep Matt Canada right now. Hold on. Hashtag keep. Y'all want to complain about me? It's Matt tweeting. Canada. This is content. Fuck Matt Canada. That's what it is. <laughs> I hope he signs with y'all. Hey, I just want y'all to know. Just wait. I lost. No Acting all ugly like this. I lost a plus 1,000 parlay by three yards. Sam Laporta, you are dead to me, sir. How many yards did you have him? Over 
50. Let's talk about Jinx. He had 47. I didn't, he, he didn't even need to get over 50. He just needed to get 50. It was 50 plus. 47 yards. I can't fucking believe it. I have $6 left in my account. <laughs> Dude, I missed four parlays by one leg in the same day. <laughs> Bro, I missed a total of three by five yards. CD needed 50. He got 49. Yeah, let's talk about Jinxes real quick. Who? Who's I Jinx? Said, I need one yard from CD Lamb, <laughs> six receiving from CMC, nine rushing okay, from Okay, but CMC. listen, what do you want no, me to say no, when you send shit like that? Don't tell me, that? listen. Dante said, I don't want to say it, but uh, you sound safe. I didn't say you're good. I <laughs> said you sound safe. CD Lamb finished He's just being optimistic. Yeah, what bro. am I? Still one yard. Once he's close to text, yeah, you say, yeah, I, you ain't hitting that, yeah, bro. Yeah, let me yeah. ask you the question. When then. your what? client Dino was in the shop and we had that baseball bet that looked safe as hell, what do yeah. you never say, though? Yeah, well, okay. What do you, why are you what sending happened? it to me, then? What, what do you happened? want me to say? <laughs> what am I, no, I'm what am I supposed to say? I don't know. Exactly. Don't respond. Don't, don't send it. Okay. I'd rather not <laughs> no, respond. No, we actually respond to text messages. Yeah, I'm like, yo ass. Like, I'll, you send me, I need this, this, and this. You want me to be like, damn, that shit ain't going to happen. Yeah, tell me he ain't getting that. <laughs> then I'm going to be a hater. <laughs> this cat, Dante, don't ever want me to win. <laughs> I can hear it now. Derek, you doing any gambling this weekend? Uh, I already lost my I don't first think bet I did. of the day today. Yeah, I don't think I did. Me too. I trailed house money. Yeah, me too. First guy lost. Yep. yep. Dude. I had 20 bucks for plus 1,900 odds. Eight NFL games, and the Cardinals fucked it. Lions, Dolphins, Vikings, Eagles, Saints, Colts. The Bengals Texans, are back cooking. Cardinals. Now. The Bengals are back cooking. Fuck. Jeff, bro, they Jeff, sold the bag. Jeff wanted to live bet the Cardinals, and I said, don't do it, bro. The Bengals are back cooking. They look sold. good again. They, they look like they're coming for the AFC North again, bro. They look like they're on the fucking way. Jamar Chase had, what, 170? Broke the all time reception. Sessions. Yeah, all time receptions for the Bengals in a game. Yeah, that's cooking. That's definitely cooking. And I had 50. Or that's just Joe Burrow saying, fuck it, Jamar Chase is there. He has. I feel like he has. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you like, you, you want to live and die player. by, you want to live and die by your guy, right? Yeah. Like, I, I'm with him on that. Not I Steve that. Irwin. <clears throat> you dude, 50 bucks on that white guy. Plus 500 odds for McCaffrey anytime. Dak to throw an interception, 49ers money line, and Jake Ferguson over three and a half receptions, and he had three. Yeah, I had him at over 30, and then I got nervous and cashed it out before the game started, and it didn't hit, so thank God. That was about to be for a lot. But I can't complain. I won a couple times this weekend. Nice. I won like twice, and I got six dollars left. Two $300 bets, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. All right, so Derek, I want to hear what you think. I want to hear your opinion on this. I tweeted this last night, or two nights ago, since we were talking about Mac Jones. Are we ready to admit that Bill Belichick needed Tom Brady, but Tom Brady didn't need Bill Belichick? Um, I kind of agree on that statement because, I mean, Tom went and played for the Bucs, won with the Bucs. Tom Brady, I think you guys probably saw the TikTok where he's never had a snap to where he was statistically out of the playoffs. Out of the playoffs. That's the most insane He's snap never had a snap that, where he was just statistically out of the playoffs. Don't matter what part of the season. It's like, what the fuck? Like, how's that even possible? The I Browns mean, take I take the snap at the beginning. You're, of the I mean, but you're out. comparing the greatest quarterback of all time to, to another coach that is almost the greatest coach Listen, of all time. All I'm saying is if you rewind back to like 20, probably System? 15, Bill Belichick was being called the greatest, the greatest coach of all time. You know, by a lot of people. I was probably one of them, realistically. I was probably one, too. I mean, eventually it has to come to an end. You know, yeah, for you, sure. You can't keep winning as a you coach. Know, but the thing is, it's eventually like... you're going to have a bad season or two. I mean... Yeah, I mean, look at Greg Popovich. Like I, mean, I used to always yeah. say Belichick and Popovich were the same person. Look at Pop. He ain't made the playoffs in the last... I mean, look at Phil the last couple of years. Like, the last couple of years he was coaching. After they won them championships, he was chilling. He was pissed. Yeah, for sure. I just look at Bill and I'm like... They're not even competitive, bro. Like right now, it's bad. I mean, they were competitive with the Eagles. <laughs> no, but right after uh, right after Tom left, they st- they went to the playoffs. That was when Mac had that good mm-hmm. year. Yep. And then it's just like and it's just kind of like a doubt. They were like piecing together wins. Still got like eight or nine, and then now they're just no boy no. If Mike Tomlin can go over five hundred every year, Bill Belichick should be able to. Did they go under five hundred last year? Who? 
The uh, Patriots. Patriots? I uh, think so. I Maybe seven. They yeah. had like the 14th I think they or did. something I like that. They, they were like they right in Christian the middle. They had Christian Gonzalez, right? Yeah, they were right in that middle area. They had so to. It could have been eight and nine. It could have been nine and eight. The extra game. The eight and nine. nine. Yeah. They went eight and nine. Damn. Mike Tomlin <laughs> can't even do that. Come on, Bill. I mean, Mike Tomlin was a game. Come he was on. eight, eight and one. Come on, your lip. Hey. I was, I was right there. Listen, it don't matter how close he gets. <laughs> he Mike Tomlin right is sign him up for a minimum <laughs> he was of right eight there. wins. Minimum. He was right there. And then guess what? They ain't going to lose nine. They go tie one and then <laughs> lose eight. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Steelers fans are ungrateful, but it is what it is. I'm just playing. I didn't um, watch the game. You didn't watch the game? You're still uh, staying with your strict, you I'm not, you're not watching until Matt Canada's fired? I watched the NFL Red Zone. Oh, I watched every second, but. I was at a birthday party. <laughs> Everybody got to see the real me. Yeah. I saw it on Bubba's snap. Oh, he recorded it? Oh, dude, I was in a whole nother world. That's foul. I I swear to God, I was sitting in the garage. I was fucking locked in on the TV. <laughs> there was people around me, but I don't even know what they were doing. Who was saying what? I took one bite of pizza, and it went straight down my fucking TJ Watt jersey. I was pissed. <laughs> the white one. I was, at, uh, I was at DJ's game. He was supposed to get some touches at running back, so I was locked in. He never got the ball. Because, <laughs> bro, the coach we asked him, like, uh, Charlie? Nah, number 57. <laughs> he, hey, he ran somebody over, too. My dude hit the sideline and went on a QB sneak and buffed this kid. Hey, but listen, I've got breaking news. That's not real breaking news at all. After the game, going to the car, telling DJ good season. He's like, I never get to play football again. Thank God. And then the uh, um, assistant coach walks up to me and goes, hey, is he coming back next year? And I was like, hmm, nah. Probably not. He goes, well, if you can talk him into it, we want him to play quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and I, that's, that's the way he wanted him to come And back. I was like, he's coming back whether you like it or not, big <laughs> dog. QB1, let's go. <laughs> this guy about to be throwing picks all over the field. I he can't ain't wait. to throw it. <laughs> Bro, we <laughs> launching that bitch 30 yards to the other team. Let's go. I was hyped, though. I'm like, damn, I did get to play quarterback. He not coming back, though. All right, but he'll play. Well, my son. He'll play. Is it more trouble in paradise for this duo or that duo? Stefan Diggs and Josh Allen, or Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson. Which situation looks worse right now? Mm, I forgot. To, I forgot. I had stuff to say about that. It's looking ugly on both sides, and then Justin Jefferson just got put on IR this morning. This, so like that kind of helps the situation a little bit. I hate to say, but this might be the downfall of Justin Jefferson. I'm telling you, some cats get like the dudes get real sweet, and they start complaining. And then they get traded, and then they're just not that good anymore. Sounds like Odell. That's what I'm saying. They're just not that good anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's worked out in certain circumstances, but, like, not very many that I can think of. Like, yeah. Tyreek Hill. Yeah. But, like, he wasn't really, like, saying nothing. He didn't – they didn't he, have, like, it was a just sour a ending. It was just a money thing. He, he just, just wanted paid. He just wanted paid, so yeah. then he went somewhere else and got paid. Yeah. But, like, anywhere else you – I like the A.J. Brown one. That kind of – that worked out for A.J. Brown because A.J. Brown, um, he was complaining about money. And the team. Oh, was and he? Yeah, okay. he, yeah, he had a problem with Tannehill. And they were just like, all right, kick rocks, blank. And now he probably will be close to the Super Bowl again. <laughs> if not did you the say, Super Bowl again. Did you see, uh, they said Jamar Chase got in a fight with... Uh, Is that real? I don't know. Got in a fight with who? With the coach. Zach. Zach? Uh, oh, I seen that. Yeah, I don't know if that was real. So I, I looked it. for it on Boss Hack Sports and didn't see it. So I was like, damn, this got to be real. He said he requested a trade and everything and then went off. Well, and somebody said it to me, like arguing with me in the comment section. It was like, look, uh, Jamar just posted, uh, just requested a trade. And I'm like, I don't think that was real, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I went straight to Twitter and hit the search bar and I didn't see nothing else about it. Okay, so it's got to be like, fake. Oh, yeah, I don't think it was real. I don't see anything on it. Like, I feel like that'd be like national. Like as soon as you open ESPN. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, I was going to say, I looked it up. It was the first thing that came up was um, him fighting Sauce Gardner. <laughs> That's the only thing that Speaking came up. Jets, I was watching Get Up this morning, and they just keep talking about Kirk, man. It's all, this dude, I've been arguing with this same dude on Instagram. Have you been seeing it? I've been uh -huh. arguing with this same dude on Instagram for like four days about Kirk being traded to the Jets. And he's like, he put in all caps, he has a no trade clause twice. Oh, I did see and that. And I said, I hear you, especially in all caps. But you know they can waive that themselves, <laughs> right? Like I don't know if he understands yeah. that or not. If like, they agree to get yeah, traded, Kirk they can, can be agree. Like, All right, I don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> or I want that. I want yeah. here, not here. Uh, yeah. And then he was like, "Why well, go to a worse team?" And I'm thinking about. It. I'm like, Nah. I think the 
the Jets have a better the roster better. top to bottom than the Vikings. Yeah. Like, yeah, you have Justin Jefferson. Right. Other than Garrett, that. You got Garrett Wilson. You got Garrett Wilson, who's not crazy, crazy, like, far behind. But no. then you got Alan Lazar behind that. And better you got, running uh, backs. You got a couple. You got a way better running better backs. Better defense. Oh, two. You got a better Hall, head coach. You got your boy Dalvin Cook. You got you Dalvin Cook. Your last your boy. Year. <laughs> you see a safety net right there. Yeah, right. And then the defense. The thing that's been letting you down all season long is that fucking the purple PP eaters. They've been <laughs> keeping this cat down. What y'all got going on? Mia Khalifa. I'm just confused as to why Mia Khalifa is uh, trending on Twitter. Well, I was let trying me to know when you find out why. <laughs> I was trying to find out. <laughs> I clicked it and it just it ain't nothing here. But yeah, do y'all think the Jets have a better roster than the Vikings right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Because the, this dude, the Vikings defense is not good. It's terrible. Terrible. They lost so many people over the last couple of years, though. Like, all of their, like, good defensive players, they mm-hmm. lost all of those cats. Like, look at uh, Zadarius Smith. That cat's shining in Cleveland. They need him right now. The Vikings are terrible. If I'm Kirk, Jets look way better than Minnesota right now. Facts. Absolutely. So whoever wow. that dude is is talking shit, go fuck but, yourself, buddy. I don't but know what's going Kirk on. want to give up his – I know that his contract's over at the end of the year anyway. But does he want to give up, like, his team to go play for, like, just a place – like a uh, place filler for Aaron Rodgers. Listen, but if they trade him right now, his contract's up no matter what. So I know, but like he's just kind of there to just. I think he goes. Yeah, further imagine with the Jets. showing up and going far in the playoffs, I was about to and say. then you get another contract Kirk somewhere can, else. Kirk will have a job next year. Either oh, way, sure. I don't think he's back in Minnesota next year. No. So mm-hmm. finish the year with the Jets, and then you going somewhere in offseason regardless. And there's a there's still teams that need quarterbacks that might take Kirk for a couple seasons. You know what I mean? Like. Kirk will have a job. Like he's looking like an MVP candidate right now. Yeah, He'll have his job. Sign him. Nah, they tanking for Caleb. How long till Diggs is gone? Yeah. Uh, did y'all see that? To who's gone? Diggs. Stephon Diggs. You see him on the sideline? Oh yeah. Tweet. I mean, he just every every now and then he him, does. Bro. Yeah, I was gonna say every. What's the issue, man? Every game you see him complaining he about 15, something. He's one of them dudes that like I think he. I don't want to compare him to AB, but like I feel as though Stephon Diggs that dude that. Doesn't care if they actually win games, but as long as he gets his, yep, he's okay with that. Like, because he can look at it like I had twelve receptions for one hundred and fifty yards. I did my part. Yeah. Y'all suck. Like you, like, like, that you know, just kills it for everybody. Though yeah. you don't think that you don't think that's in Josh Allen's head when he's watching you slam shit on the sidelines. Like, what, yeah. Or it's like he's constantly staring you down on a route and missing a dude streaking downfield wide open or getting sacked because he's waiting for you to break a route when he's just watching you instead of like actually going through his progression. That's what I mean. Like in the back of his head, he's like, damn, I got to get this dude the ball. Yeah, I think it's fucking with him, bro. I definitely do. I mean, in that game, too. Like, did y'all watch that Atlanta game by chance? I did. Did y'all watch it? No. I know you don't wake up early. Uh, no, I watched a little bit of it. It was on till fucking like twelve forty five. They lost like five defensive players in that game. Yeah, like Von Miller every got hurt. Did yeah. You see Matt Milano's down Von for the year. He broke his head? leg. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't see that. Yep, he got hurt. Matt Milano broke his leg. He's down for the year. Like they were losing people play after play after. Like literally, one dude gets hurt. They ran another play. Somebody else was on the ground. Did you see what the one dude said? He mm-hmm. said we came all the way to London to play on fucking cement. <laughs> I mean, he said the the ground was like hard as fuck for real. Yeah. For Stefan, he's averaging 10 targets a game. And like 100 yards. 10 so targets a game. He has 39 receptions, 520 yards, and five touchdowns. I was going to say, he's averaging like, don't, a touchdown yeah, and 100 yards a game. Why, he's averaging, how many yards yeah. the, or how many, five games into the season? Five games into the season. He's averaging over 100 yards a game. 104 yards, the most he's had ever so far. Yeah, and he's still slamming shit on the sideline. Some cats are just never happy, bro. Like you just can't please him. Like he might just be one of those dudes. Like best catch percentage too for him so far. I assume it's gonna eventually go down a little bit because yeah, I just don't understand. I mean, Josh Allen isn't playing like phenomenal, but like he ain't playing that yeah, bad though. Yeah, well, you ain't helping. Facts, facts. I mean, look look at what they just did to it's Miami a, though. A lot Miami of it's was, about yeah, the, that whole game. That they played Miami, I bet that he was on the sidelines smiling. Happy as hell. Yeah, we yeah. had 150 yards, three yeah. touchdowns on like 10, and they were 12 winning, receptions, yeah. and you win in games, it's all good. But like, what? I, I, but wide receivers are cancers, bro. Like, you can look down the line, like, and those wide receivers, remember I told you, those star wide receivers, they do not win you Super Bowls. You can go down the line of all the studs, they don't have rings. Look what, uh, no wide receiver won MVP, but a kicker has. What? A kicker won MVP? Kicker won MVP. San Antonio Holmes got MVP. Not Super Bowl. Like MVP, MVP. Oh, oh, oh. A kicker yeah, like has regular, a regular season MVP. Regular season MVP. In what, 1945? 
Yeah, it's like yeah. 1939. It's it's a while ago, but still. I'm just he probably saying, played multiple <laughs> positions. Outside of like Tyreek Hill playing running recently, back. <laughs> outside of like Tyreek Hill recently, like Mike Evans with Tom Brady. Oh my God, um, 82. Marvin Harrison. And I might be missing like one or two. Oh, AB has one with uh, Brady. Other than those dudes like Randy, T.O., Calvin, Ocho, all of those cats don't have championships, bro. Like they don't win you. They don't win you Super Bowls. It is what it is. Like. Odell Beckham AB didn't one. win them a Super Bowl. Well, and if you look at the dudes who do have Super Bowls, <laughs> they didn't, like, win you the Super Bowl. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Tyreek Hill was, you know, big in those games with the Chiefs and stuff like that. But other than that, them cats ain't winning you Super Bowls, bro. It is what it is. Fuck them. Mark, but uh, Mark, we'll revisit this. Mark Mosley was the MVP in 1982. And he only made 20 out of 21 field goal attempts that season. 1982 had to be a slow season for a kicker to make 20 out of 21 <laughs> field goals and win, <laughs> and win the MVP, bro. That's slow. There's just no way. <laughs> he didn't do anything else. Did you guys see what uh, Dante Whitner said? Did you see what I said? <laughs> no. <laughs> I quote tweeted and I said, my guy, you played for my team. I'm familiar with your game. <laughs> you ain't fucking sniffing Tyreek Hill, bro. You're not catching that cat, bro. I ain't talking about that part. I'm talking about the Dak Prescott sucks. Oh, yeah. Period. That's trash. Go ahead and read it. Go ahead. You, you, I was going to say, I was gonna say you want to say the quote. It says, uh, former NFL player Dante Whitner, quote, Dak Prescott sucks. Period. Did you see the video? I didn't, like, watch it. It's on, like, just been It was Thursday it. Night Football, and they were doing, like, I don't know if it was halftime or the end of the game, and uh, he was talking about Dak Prescott, and he was just like, listen, Dak Prescott sucks, period. That's trash, bro. You didn't see Shady McCoy? Yeah. He see, below, Dak like, Prescott like, is ass ass. ass. <laughs> but see, like, Shady is almost like a like a troll. Yeah. Like, that's kind of like his thing. He's kind of like just a dude he who just, talks just shit. says shit for shock value. He's right. I mean, they are right, but like, I just feel like it should be like some like type of like broco where like you can criticize somebody, but like there's like a certain level of like professional criticism, and then just like hey, like what's like, his name talking about Zach Prescott Wilson is not performing very well this year. That you know what I mean, like that, bro. He said my dude is ass ass, and he said he sucks. Period. He does. Like, Stephen A. B. saying that shit though. Stephen A. B. going off, but that's. That's kind of his thing, too. Like, if you go back, bro, you can go back to Kwame Brown. Maybe he's trying to make it his thing. Stephen A. been known for that for way too long. Dante Whitner trying to make it his thing. <laughs> we won't see Dante He's just Whitner. trying to be relevant. We won't see him on TV again. <laughs> we won't see him on TV for the rest of this year. Well, Dak sucks. So, well, Period. I had a topic about Dak Prescott and Mike McCarthy. If you had to get rid of one, guys, who are you getting rid of? Derek, go. <laughs> Dak or Mike McCarthy? Both. Got to pick one first. Dak. Mike McCarthy. I think Mike McCarthy is worse than Dak. Hasn't Dak had a couple of coaches already? Put nah, Trey Lance in the Jason game, bro. Garrett. Jason Garrett. Uh, and, yeah. And what did Jason Garrett ever do as a head Put coach? Put Trey Lance in the game. Eight and eight. Well, eight and eight. Ten and six. Eight and eight. Clap. <laughs> Still getting rid of Derek. Uh, Damn, you're getting rid of me, bro? Derek Prescott. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. I don't think Dak is like playing very good either. But like Mike McCarthy had Aaron Rodgers for how many seasons? One. Ten. One Super Bowl. Twelve. Yeah. One Super Bowl. <laughs> one. Like Aaron Rodgers, can we all agree? That's where you want to go. What do you say? That's where you want to go. I'm just saying. Like he had that one. You really shouldn't even have won that. We don't got to get into that. You guys shouldn't have beat the Steelers. Too soon. Big Ben didn't get in either in a one Super Bowl, but we don't got to talk the about fuck it. up. <laughs> it's Joe Toussaint. But listen, I think Mike McCarthy is a trash can. But Dak is kind of one. Too. I mean, I think you proved that you could win with Dak, but I mean, Mike McCarthy only won one with Aaron Rodgers. Kind of like what Matt said. He said shouldn't even have won that game, whatever. But Aaron Rodgers should have got more than one Super Bowl. For sure. Especially with the Packers. So... Oh. If you look at the people he's lumped with and the coaches they've had, Brady went to how many Super Bowls? Nine? Ten? Something crazy. Oh, he, I lost to the Giants twice, the Eagles once. So he went to ten. Yep. Ten Super Bowls. Didn't he lose to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl too? Against the when he was on the Bucks. He beat the Chiefs and then they beat them, I think. So I think he went to eleven Super Bowls. He went to seven of the or nine of those with the same coach. Same team. Mike McCarthy got the Packers to two. 
Didn't they lose in one? Or am I tripping? That's crazy. Uh, I think they only went to one. That's pitiful. Yeah, he played in 10. You have Aaron Rodgers, bro. How do you not make it to more than one Super Bowl? I think Mike McCarthy is a bigger problem than Dak Prescott, if you ask me. But I think Dak is also. I think they're both a huge problem. You shouldn't have to pick one. Just release both of them. Or just get rid of both of them. I mean, realistically, I, I think the problem That's is. That's what I said. I think it's a uh, Yeah, if, if, you, if we have to pick one, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a bigger problem. We ain't got to get into it. But I think you got to go one step above him and go yeah, to Jerry, Jerry Jones. Jones. That, Jerry Jones is a trash can, too, bro. That guy can't shut He's up. He's holding him back. Holding him back, yep. So is Mark Davis. Oh, God. Mark fucking Davis. I wasn't familiar with your game, Mark Davis. You know what I'm talking about? You didn't see it? All right, we don't got to talk about it then. Is Brock Purdy the next Tom Brady? Uh, no one ever is going to be the next Tom Brady, but... No one? He's going to be a good quarterback. No. Not even Pat? No, Pat's not going to make it to 10 Super Bowls. He's made it to three he, so far. He's not going to make it seven more. Okay. Keep going, though. Anyways, no, I don't think he's the next Tom Brady. Just because he's white and he was Mr. Irrelevant. Listen, you had to add the white part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't that say nothing that. nothing to do with it. Damn it, well, why, well, why weren't they calling Patrick Mahomes the next Tom Brady? Why, why aren't they calling him still they the did. next Tom Brady? Patrick Mahomes why aren't they calling him still? overall, that's why. Brock Purdy was Mr. Irrelevant. Okay. Okay. So there's give a it little that. bit like, right. more. And he's white. Fair enough. And he's white. Okay, I was thinking because he's white. I'll back you up on Mahomes it. Mahomes is not white. <laughs> Mahomes is a African American. He's more green than white. Sounds like Kermit the Frog. Jesus Christ! I was I was wondering where the fuck you were going with that one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Brock is nice though. Like he's I'm, he just smart. He does what he needs to do. Like Brady, <laughs> he's got a great offensive minded coach. He's not forced to do too much. No, no. I mean, he doesn't have to. You can rely on Christian McCaffrey. You can dink and dunk to playmakers. All like. I was watching a game and I just thought to myself, like I tweeted wide it, but I'm open like, people. I'm you have like, four Brandon playmakers. Ayuk that nice? Yeah, you have four playmakers on offense. Like, is Ayuk that nice or is just a team stack that makes him look nice? Yeah, it's it's wild. Because, like, I was watching him play. And a last, great offensive line. Right. You got the best offensive lineman in football. You got the best running back in football. You have a top two or three tight end in football, a top 10 receiver, probably. Like, there's nowhere you can go wrong on that defense. The best linebacker in core right there. Like, <laughs> The you defensive got the best front's edge crazy. Rusher right now, yeah. like, where do you go wrong on that team? <laughs> like, they they have to win the Super they, Bowl, yeah, right? Their their roster is just insane. Like, I think their biggest test is in the NFC. Like, I think it comes down to them. Yeah, and gonna, I think it's going to be them and the Eagles. Yeah, and I, that's the Super Bowl right there. Whoever yeah. wins that, and I'm going to be honest with you, going to pull his shirt up after three touchdowns just to say "fuck Philly." Hey, that was legendary, <laughs> bro. That was legendary. Partially because I seen it on Twitter first and thought it was fake. And I was watching the game and didn't see it. Did they air it on the game? No. So like, I was about to say, did y'all on see one it? Of, one of the camera angles, it didn't like show it, but I don't know I if there was another it. one. I think yeah. it was a picture that somebody had took. Like, to, okay. Okay. So it, I was about to say, that shit was real though, Because right? I watched the <laughs> touchdown <laughs> yeah. and like, they, it wasn't Michael on them. Parsons pissed about it. Good. He said, I mean, we meet them again. I got something. We got something for the ass. Y'all not like to what he said going to Michael Parsons when he said like he don't think they're like that game didn't tell the whole story. He don't think they're that Michael far Parsons away. Parsons got something for his ass. <laughs> oh, he got something for his <laughs> literally for his ass. Well, he said he was gonna stop Josh Dobbs and Josh Dobbs still beat his ass. So the Cowboys are. Oh cooked. yeah, we've been looking at this one. Josh Dobbs, we had him circled on the calendar. <laughs> I mean, listen. <laughs> Like my course is good, but you can't just sit there, you, dude. You can't say like, "Oh yeah, we got something for their ass." You just lost forty-two to ten. It's not like you lost twenty-one to seventeen or yeah. something close. We like, just seen it. You ain't got nothing. You just for him. got beat by thirty. Yeah, you ain't got nothing for him. We seen it. <laughs> like no answers at all. Like that got picked what? What three times? Three times. And the one was terrible. The one, like, you remember the one in the Steelers-Browns game when um that, that trash can dropped it on y'all team? Who's the dude that dropped the oh, wide Levi, Levi, Levi. Levi was. Bro, that dude ran the route for Dak and caught a fucking back shoulder pick. Like, what the fuck? Like, that Dak is playing really fucking bad. Like, I'm not going to Dante Whitner and LaShawn McCoy him, but. He sucks. Hey, you guys see TJ Watt punch the fuck Isaiah Flowers. Y'all are fucking <laughs> right hook. dirty, bro. Yeah, so bro. dirty, dude. Hey, Y'all oh, are yeah. dirty. Let, I forgot. Uh. I'm going to throw a quick shout out to the um, Ravens receiving core. I appreciate y'all. Nelson. Aguilar. Bro, that was one of the Thanks. worst 
games I've seen by wide receivers in general. Three touchdowns that were dropped. Mark oh, Andrews, Zay Flowers, and um, Duvernay. 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 Duvernay dropped one. And, and Aguilar Bateman. dropped one. Bateman oh, dropped one. Bateman, not Bateman. Duvernay. Yeah, Bateman. Bateman dropped one. And uh, wait, who's number seven? Is that Bateman? Bateman? That's Bateman. Bateman. Oh, I thought that was Duvernay. Bateman. Okay, yeah, Bateman. Bateman dropped one. Aguilar dropped one. And I think Andrews dropped one. And Lamar just gave you guys a free interception when he tried to throw a back shoulder or a high ball to Odell. That was a terrible play. We could have got that interception. Odell, yeah, like, tried to, to jump we, way to too early. Yeah, yeah like, oh, he didn't. But Odell yeah. jumped, like, so Lamar early. Threw it at his back. Yeah, we, yeah, but, like, he was just way, no, like, No, Odell, after, like, it was very, like, off-timed and everything. Odell, like, went to jump, like, at the goal line. He was already on his way down right. when the ball was in the air. Well, and he threw it inside, too, like. Yeah, it was a terrible the, throw. Like, he should have been watching that firsthand when uh, Matt Stafford threw that bitch to Cooper Cup in the Super Bowl. Like, that was how you do it. Like, throw it to the sideline so it's either a catch or out of bounds. He threw it inside. It's yeah, it it's Lamar great. and Odell's fault. Hey, but listen, Lamar's been playing really good, though. Like, I know, like, Jordan is, like, the head of the Lamar hate train. He can't throw. He's not accurate. Lamar's been very good this season. No, that, that game, I watched, like, a highlight thing that had all the drops. Like, yeah. Every, oh, my God. Every, every right pass they considered a drop, and there was – a lot of fucking drops, bro. Like, that pass to Aguilar was, was a, a dot, drops. bro. Like it was literally, it was right here. Like all he had to do was just close his fucking hands. Like he's like this, bro. Like I, I don't like the Ravens, and I was feeling bad for Lamar. Oh, I felt bad for. Lamar. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> like these dudes I are not helping you. Every time they threw a drop, though, fucking Levi Wallace or somebody run in and be like, no, no. I hate when DBs do that, bro. They, that. <laughs> they uh, get smoked and then overthrown, or it's a terrible pass. Thing, hey, what's my dude that retired no at good. halftime's name? Fuck, we do this every time. I can't remember. Played his for name. the Bills. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. left on the Bills. I can't Bills. remember his name. Originally Davis? played on the Colts. Davis. Vontae Davis. Vontae yeah, Davis. Vontae yeah, Davis. Okay. Patrick Peterson, <laughs> do that. <laughs> Is he that bad? So bad. Is he that trash? Yeah. Hey, y'all have Zay I Flowers think. ran an in route and had like ten yards of separation and in like up in, and Patrick Peterson was like still backing up. Y'all have like four consecutive seasons of getting a player and like really hoping they were going to be good. And they were like, it's not even like they were just like, oh, this dude is decent. Like they have been trash. Like Eric oh, Ebron, yeah. trash. Dante Moncrief, didn't even touch the field hardly. Uh, Miles Jack, trash. Terrible. Patrick Peterson. And we got a terrible last year that was supposed to be good. You got a who? Aquila, the dude for the Rams the, that's been balling. I was about to say he he's like him. he's like top five right now, and like yeah. uh, I forget whatever. I seen his name though because I saw somebody post and there's like his three Steelers on his list right now. It was him, Cam Sutton, and um, Mike Hilton. I forget what it is. It's like percentages caught on them or some shit like that. And yeah. fucking what's his name for the Raiders that just had two picks last night? Oh yeah, Robert Spillane. Yeah. Oh, did you see my? Did you see my tweet? I said Robert Spillane never played like this in the Steelers uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, what, the what? one was like Jordan. You yeah, would have caught that one. You might have well, taken one, a knee yeah. after, but you would have caught that one. <laughs> the one <laughs> was the one was tipped up in the air. It was just hanging up there. He was like, the oh, one he literally yeah, ran he like right he was it. like right here. I was like Jordan Love got Raiders. He money did that line, to bro. Robert Spillane did that to Lamar. Yeah, I think you're right. It was either yeah, it was Lamar. He threw it right to him and he ran for a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, Spillane was only about, he was like ten yards away from a touchdown. Like that's, that's just crazy. crazy. Mark crazy. Davis was in the airport smacking the slots after the game. <laughs> Shout out to Mark Davis, bro. That's the ugliest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. You able to put your mic down a little bit no. so we can see your face, your beautiful face a little more. All that's right, all. boys. Uh, we got to transition out of football. I know we've been talking football the whole time, but it's basketball time. We have some preseason. All right, check me out. So, oh yeah, Luca. Luca plays Real Madrid today. We are going. I mean, we to do a draft. Well, and last episode we didn't. It wasn't aired, so I we know. didn't talk about Dame Dalla going to uh, Milwaukee. So I was going to skip that. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, we have... It's fine. We have a draft that we're going to do. But it's a joint draft. Okay. Skip um, <laughs> hashtag Jordan is lost. <laughs> hashtag skip me. Um, we are going to build the perfect team to send to the Olympics for Team USA. Oh. Yep. We are going to put together our own Team USA roster to win it all. We've seen a lot of players opting in or saying they would be interested. So let's build our perfect team USA roster. Like a starting five? Nope. <coughs> nine. The entire roster. We'll do nine. Let's just go nine? eight deep. We'll, or eight. It's usually like an eight man. We'll rotation. do eight. Let's go eight deep then. Okay. All right. So this is like 11. <laughs> who's our starting point guard? Steph Curry. I agree. Steph Curry at the one. 
little dice here, here. Who's our starting shooting guard now? You want me to go? Dwayne Wade. Wade. I was going to say, we can throw names out. Dwayne Wade can still play Jimmy for Butler. Team USA. You got Jimmy Butler out there. <laughs> That's who I like. You got Jalen Brown out there. You got Donovan Mitchell out there. You got Devin Mitchell. Booker. Mitchell. Devin Booker's technically a two. I mean, it could be another point guard if you had to. Yeah, I for mean, sure. it's not. But I think um, the only right answer is Jimmy Butler, right? I would say Jimmy just because he gives you something that nobody else is going to So do. there's a lot of twos that are better than him, I think. Yeah, me too. I'm taking Devin Booker over him, but in this particular scenario, lineup, you don't I, would need go, I would go Jimmy Butler. Yeah, you don't need You need somebody to hustle. You need defense. You need you somebody need that to, can guard multiple positions and pick and rolls and stuff. You just need to tell Jimmy, hey, don't take all those fucking shots, buddy. Oh, like, he he, like he was he with the Heat? No, he <laughs> like knows, he was with he, the Heat? He knows he has to take those yeah, shots. Yeah, he won with this team. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, our point guard is Steph Curry. Our two guard is... Jimmy Butler, who is our starting small forward. You want me to write this down for yeah, you? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> our starting small forward, you got guys like Jason Tatum, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, LeBron James. KD there, LeBron at the four. I'm going to be honest, I like KD. Yeah. Vice versa. I was going to say, KD's been playing the four a lot, but we're going. I like LeBron at the – it don't matter. I think LeBron's in the starting lineup regardless, LeBron and KD. Yeah, you could just put – both of them at the three and the four. All right, let's go LeBron three, KD four, vice versa, whatever. And then who is our starting center? Jokic. No, we can't. No, we can't have <laughs> Joel Jokic. Embiid. So Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid said that he would he play for play Team for USA. Uh, you have yeah, to put him there. We can't have Jokic. He's not opted into this conversation. Like we can't have Luka either. You have to put him be there. And I can't believe the uh, Serbians fucking hate Jokic. Yeah, that was crazy. But I mean, listen, though, that dude don't speak for all Serbians. No, that, but he said it's like a resounding thing. Like that big Serbian from. dude that has the tall ass wife, the one that went to Fitch, the big dude that kind of looks like Big Ben. Yeah, he loves him. He loves Jokic. Yeah, his wife does too. You remember, I was cutting their son's hair and I had the Lakers cape, and she goes, How you like Jokic right now? And I was just like, If you wasn't rushing and I'm scared of y'all, I'd say something crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Bro, she's like 6'3, though. She's she tall is. as fuck. Yeah. And her boyfriend is a fucking, her husband, that motherfucker's huge, bro. He looks like he plays in the NFL right now. He probably every bit of like 6'3", 350. Ah, oh, so he's like me. And you said he was a psychopath in high school, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I ain't fucking with that cat. All right, so our starting five for Team USA is Steph Curry, Jimmy Butler, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid. Who was our sixth man coming off the bench? Um, Anthony Davis. I got to go a little dicey right here. Um, Damian Lillard? Anthony Edwards. Anthony. E okay, listen. He was going. Now, he don't have to be six, man, but I think he deserves a spot. <sighs> you know, I, th I think Anthony Edwards is very good, but like, I just don't, I don't get it yet. Like, I've been seeing him propped up to like conversations that I just like, I don't know if he's there yet. Like, did you I don't, watch the FIBA games? I watched a lot of FIBA games. I lost money on a good bet. A lot of times he was out there by himself. Yeah, yeah. I thought Brandon Ingram was the best player on the team, and it was clearly Anthony Edwards. Clearly. So I'll give you that. All right, let's, let's talk. He don't have to be six, man. Let, let's let's go somewhere else. With Anthony six, Davis has to make this roster. Yeah, for sure. And then Does you got to. Yes. If he's healthy. Yes, absolutely. I don't know if y'all watched preseason basketball last night like I did, but Anthony Davis looked like he was in peak form already. You still um, got Jason Tatum there, too. Jason Tatum is still there. And even though I just. He's just he's a chucker, man. I mean, I mean, I mean you <laughs> got you got him, Buck, Lillard that are all like very similar and just they're going to get you Fox. buckets. You still need another big, so you Bam. got um, Anthony Davis. Yeah, yeah, true. He's not going to play that much. Huh? Why are you disrespecting AD like that? <laughs> He's going to get hurt. Chill out. All you right, got so, Bam, too. All right, so on the bench, you got AD. Well, Bam, he, does he play for USA? Yeah. 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 Okay, because he's from, like, what the hell? We just looked it up, I thought. Yeah, we were Bahamas? talking about it. He's, like, from the Bahamas or some shit like that, or Jamaica or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Damian Lillard has to be on the team. Oh my God, bro. Mm. Or Fry. We forgot about Giannis. Giannis is Greek. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but he's probably going to play for Team USA. No, he, he ain't, plays bro. For he plays oh, for, he plays he plays for, for Greek Greece. Brothers. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. They did all play together. Never mind. Take that back. All right, so our four on the bench. AD, Dame Lillard, Jason Tatum. What'd you say? AD, Jason Tatum, Lillard. I mean, you still have... I'll just throw names out. You still have Clay Thompson, Anthony Edwards, Donovan Mitchell, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Draymond Green is here, but Kawhi Leonard and Paul George aren't going to be available. They're going to be in low management. Um, I'm gonna be honest, man. I just don't 
Jalen Brown. Brown. If you're going to say it like that, then AD ain't available. What about D-Book? AD has played more games than him and Steph Curry in the last, like, five seasons. You know that, right? d book The starting still. point guard we has played less. The, yeah. Yeah, y'all, y'all got to stop Levine? that narrative, bro. I don't think Zach Levine is cracking it. He's there, though. I would. I'm taking Zach Levine over Anthony Edwards, me personally. I would, too. I just feel bad. Well, that Brunson. cat was really putting on. Oh, Jalen Brunson. Yeah, but do you need Jalen Brunson, though? Because you already have Steph He's Curry. only going to give you, you buckets. You got Dame it's Lillard. Like... And then De'Aaron like, Fox is better than him. De'Aaron Fox is better than him. And then let's be real. LeBron will play point forward the whole time anyway. So you just re- Randall? Well, that's the good no. thing about having uh that's the good thing about having Steph on the team. He don't have to bring the ball up. That exactly. Dude, that dude will play point guard off the ball. He's gonna bring the ball up, pass it at half court to LeBron. LeBron's already gonna be backing down, and Steph Curry's gonna loop around three screens into the corner for that's a what I'm saying. <laughs> is Jason Tatum gonna play power forward? Probably small forward, power forward area. He would probably come in for uh, LeBron or KD. KD. If he gets in the game. I think, I, I mean, you know, like LeBron goes out early in those Laker games, so he'll probably come in for LeBron. All right, so our bench. Damian well, we Lillard. Out one because they always put a college player in there. And uh, I say. Yeah, but he's usually at the end of the roster. Yeah, he's usually. I say they should put Caitlin Clark. <laughs> what? what about Paulo? <laughs> Greed. Paulo is nice. Dude, he's a freak. Ben they would take, he's a big dude. So could they technically put Chet there since uh, Chet didn't play a game last season? Well, he's no, it's like a dude that's no. actively in college. Yeah, no, they like, no, they're they're like they rookie. just graduated. Yeah, they're, they're going, going to rookie. the draft. Or, yeah. yeah, a rookie. Because like AD was there when he got drafted, or like um, I don't think Chet counts. Was a Christian Leitner. Like, would Chet qualify for that technically? I don't think so. We'll say no in this okay. instance. He's gonna play this season. Yeah, this draft well, that's what usually that's what they do. They. They they're about to play that season. This draft class is low key garbage. Oh no! So it'll be somebody in college right now That's because the mean. Olympics ain't until next year. Yeah, yeah, so you couldn't even get. It'll checked. be somebody going into the draft. Oh, true. Well, I'm, I haven't done any fucking research on who it is. So uh, Bronny James. Um, so Bronny will be on team. Yes. <laughs> Listen, if Jordan can get Isaiah not on the team, LeBron can get Bronny on the team. That's all <laughs> I'm gonna say. No lies told here. I, I sense the silence is truth. So who's the bench? Yeah, I thought Isaiah to stay off the team. Dame Lillard, Jason Tatum. AD. AD. Kalen Clark. Who's the last one? We'll skip the college players. I don't remember. We were de- we were deciding. I mean, I gave you a bunch of options. It was like... Um, you I kind of like Paul George. I mean, you got Paul George, Jalen Brown, um, Draymond, Bam, Clay, Kawhi, uh, Anthony Edwards, Devin Booker. I mean, we could say Kawhi just for like star power, like, but he probably ain't gonna be available, right? Rudy Gay still has more all time points than him. Motherfuckers running the goddamn. Did you say Rudy Gay, bro? Huh? Did you say Rudy Gay? Rudy Gay has more all time points than Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I know that. I didn't know what you said. Uh, Oh, you said Rudy Gay. Gay. I was like, wait a minute. I know you're not throwing that name out there. Put him on. Put him on the squad, bro. bro. Hey, so I figured out why. uh, As a coach, why Mia Khalifa was trending. So who's the last person then? <laughs> Kawhi yeah. Leonard. Okay. Say Kawhi it again. Leonard. Say it again. Kawhi Leonard is the eighth spot on our team USA eight man roster. I need, That'd be nine. I need more energy. Spot. I need more energy. Ninth spot. I was like thinking of it. No, I thought we did eight. We were supposed to do eight, but you already had eight. Yeah, that was nine. You that had, was he was nine. That was nine. And three bench. You had the. You had three bench. The fourth bench. Oh yeah. So that's nine. No, you're right. My bad. I forgot. I did pick four bench players. All right. So our nine man team USA roster bench. The last player, Kawhi Leonard. Thanks. If you want me to say it better, I'll say it. It's all right. No, you're good. Me, Khalif, is she naked? Is she naked? No, she is. Uh, We're familiar with her game. Dude. She had a COVID mask on, took it off, picked up dog shit <laughs> with the mask. What? Threw it into a garbage can and then put the mask back on. Sweet. All right. Well, well I don't want to be that guy. You see a lot of porn stars do way worse than that. Wow. You All right. Two um, girls, one cup. <laughs> you guys got anything else you want to talk about before we get out of here? Because we're segueing away from that. We got a couple more minutes before we close out this Shout episode. Shout out Joey Porter Jr. First interception of his career. And we should be cutting Gunnar Al. Has a oh, my God. Get line. that dude the fuck off my team. He has some good returns. He just wants to run into. He, had <laughs> one, he, he did have one good return. Or, uh, hey, that's your that's your teammate's fault. He made the fumble happen. Hey, real quick, though, hold on, <laughs> hold on. We not end. Hey, we not ending the episode talking about y'all. Like, fuck out of here. Who said? Well, we can't talk about y'all. We don't got to talk about either team. We can talk about us. We're gonna win next week. You're getting washed by forty. 
Hey, <laughs> wait a minute though. I've been watching. Why is the line five right now? <laughs> that no, is it crazy. Ain't. Yeah, it is. I looked at it yesterday. No, it was four and a half. I'm like nine and a half. It's at nine and a half now. It was at four it was and a half. Yeah, it was four and a half it was yesterday. Five and a half yesterday on my sports book. Is it five? What is it at right now? It's five now. Yeah, bro, you got well, it. No, 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 no. It's five. Uh, it's five on ESPN. Hammer plus five. No, Hammer minus <laughs> five, bro. They're about to, there's rumors of Deshaun not playing. <laughs> Hammer plus if DTR five. DTR goes out I'm not there, about to bet that now before it gets too far away. Bet, bet it now, bet, yes. Like, bet, I might load up to bet that. Cleveland minus five. What if they fucked around? Is this a trap? What if it's a crazy trap? Cleveland wins we got to talk 20. to D-Bake, the I don't trap like to look at. I don't like to look at lines for my team because then, like, sometimes if it's a trap, like, you're still gonna There's go for it. Like, like, I don't know that fall my in. team is about to lose. I'm like, fuck, dude. We're just, like, I mean, we already know we're gonna lose going into that game. If the line is like, say it's like it opens at we're like plus two, and then all of a sudden, like right before game time, we're like plus four. Or you I'm see, like, fuck, you see, we're about to lose, here. dude. No, once it gets farther away from you, you get once you're getting more points, it's like, oh shit. Yeah, that is weird that it's five. Like it, like, I don't know what's going on because, like, I'm going to be real with you. Like, even our defense is very good. I think we can, like, slow them down. We ain't putting up points, though. <laughs> like, unless we get some fumble recoveries or pick sixes, I don't see us putting up, enough point, putting up enough points to beat them. Like, 20 points ain't enough to beat the Niners, I don't think. And I don't think we're putting up that. The biggest spread of the week is Buffalo minus 14 against the Giants. Yeah. Take Buffalo minus 14. I might 14. take the Giants plus 14. And I think the Dolphins are favored minus 10 or uh, 12. Dolphins are 13 and a half. 13, a yeah. Half. And it was crazy. So uh, real quick before we uh, end this. Um, no, I was we don't have time it, for that. Uh, no, nope, we don't have time for it. Do you have a time for a quick top three? Quick top three? Uh, no. Give me your top three quarterbacks right now. Right now? Mm. Uh, Kirk Cousins. We did. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we did it, yeah, but we, we did didn't it, do it, motherfucker. It's, it's lost. <laughs> yeah. um, Kirk Cousins, CJ Stroud, and uh, Josh Allen just played really bad, so it's not going to age well if I say him right after that. Matt Stafford. Nah, I want to say Brock Jared. Purdy. I want to say Jared Goff. Say it. Say it. Jared Goff. Brock Purdy. Top no. three quarterbacks right now, statistically. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can't say well, that don't worry. That's gonna be cut out, Matt. <laughs> you're three. <laughs> you can't say that statistically. I'll be wrong. Just may, let it let it ride. Okay, let it ride. No, no statistically, like I like what they do at numbers wise. They're you not might, leading you might everything. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're not leading everything. You can't say that they're top three statistically based when they're not. Yeah, based, <laughs> based off, off of you. Based off of how they're playing right now, give me Kirk, CJ, and Jared Goff. Yeah, I fucking said it. <sighs> All right, Matt. Give me All your three. Right. Um. Let me get Kirk. I was with you with the CJ Stroud. Let me get Kirk, Brock Purdy, and CJ Stroud. Okay. Jordan? Let me get Kirk, Herbo, and CJ Stroud. No, he Ooh, Herbo. Yeah, he did. He canceled both their appointments. I'm sorry. You said Kirk, Herbo, and CJ Stroud. Wait a minute, guys. Jordan? Just said something good about an Ohio State player. I always sit. <laughs> no <laughs> fucking Once they're in way. the pros, I don't give Derek, a shit. Clip that. Clip it. <laughs> All right, Once go they're ahead, in Derek. the pros, I don't care. Liar. Go ahead. Not in any order, but Tua, Kirk, and Brock Purdy. Oh, I should have said Tua. I want to take out play. Jared Goff and give me Tua. No, you're, take out Jared Goff and give me Tua. You're having Jared Goff. I want Tua. Nope. Tua. You can say as many times you want. He's just gonna exit. Out. I know. Yeah, that ain't gonna be. I want to put Tua in over Stroud, but it's always hard to like think of people like. I know. I forgot on the spot. Yeah, oh, I just well. forgot about Tua. Fuck it. All right, boys. That's all for Barbershop Break Room. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>